So we play Ugin, and then we'll see what we do here. We can get some nice stuffs done with, done with this boy. Put down you for free. Okay, so we treasure map we can also put down for free. Mystic Forge, yes, we don't want the blast on top there. That's not doing anything. Who's the top card? Uh, to put that away. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one to have there. Ooh, hoo, 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 yes. Probably. I only might. Oh, and also this. <laughs> also this. Didn't even think about that. Get rid of one card with this. That's amazing. Uh, and then we <laughs> and then we get this guy. It's an eight eight. And we're back in brown. Yes, we're playing mono brown. And oh my god, was I impressed by this so damn much. I mean, I, mean, I played the mono brown like two months ago or something. I don't mean it was decent, but it was mostly gimmicky. But now, now we finally got the tools. Now it's a legit deck. Now we can rank up. You could probably. No, <laughs> I'm always <laughs> doing this bold statement. You could probably get the mythic with this. I mean, you could get the mythic with anything. I mean, if you if you take long enough, but in a decent time frame, you could get the mythic with this, I believe. So. Why does this work now and didn't work before? Well, it's for a couple of reasons. The biggest reason I would say is Mystic Forge plus Ugin, which just such a good combo right now. You may look at the top card of your library. You may cast the top card of your library if it's an artifact card or a colorless non-land card. As it so happens, everything is a colorless non-land card. You can play everything. And then you can pay one life to exile the top card of your library. So this plus Ugin, which makes everything too cheaper, it's just insane. You're just gonna go through the entire library, you're gonna have all the Ugins, all the Karns, everything out on the board, and you can get them out so darn quickly. You're gonna see in the games, I was <laughs> a little bit bitter. <laughs> gonna see a little bit of bitter Chris today. <laughs> bitter Dark Lord. I'm like, oh, this goddamn uh, aggro decks, I can't defeat them, I have a slow deck. And then I realized, this deck is not slow at all. <laughs> if we get a decent start, if we get Mystic Forge Ugin, or if we get Double Power Stone Shard, you can come back from the weirdest of situations. You're gonna see that in the game. Also, we got Steel Overseer in M20, and this feels like it fits perfectly in there. Uh, much because you want a lot of cards for two, because it's so good to be able to play a lot of things for free with the Mystic Forge, and also it synergizes so well with the deck. It's perfect with Voltaic Servant, because Voltaic Servant can untap Steel Overseer, and they can grow, they can grow together. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also good because it's a very good defensive creature, and you need to be defensive in the early game. Uh, it's also good with Treasure Map, so Voltaic Servant works, works with that as well. Uh, and Power Stone Shard, just <laughs> for the mana, I already talked about that. Of course we have Karn, the Great Creator, and Karn Sinamursa. And then we have a lot of different lands, and I also tried as an experiment, I put in Field of the Dead, and I think it's fine, you don't need that Field of the Dead there. Uh, but that's why the mana looks a little bit, <laughs> a little bit weird, one might say. Also, we don't need colors. Let's just jump into the game, shall we? Okay, <laughs> time, time to de-rank, I think. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see if we win a couple of games with this. We can't, I think fast decks is just out of the question to win, I guess. Like this. <laughs> this, is, this is almost unwinnable for us. Almost unwinnable. <laughs> At least if we lose enough games, the algorithm will pick up on this and we will get easier matchups with this deck. So that's good. So maybe take 10, 15 losses. <laughs> And then we can play. <laughs> and we can play magic. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> Why do you play this deck if it's bad, you ask? Because <laughs> it's mono brown, goddammit. Because <laughs> it's mono brown. And I like it that way. Like it that way. Summit zero. I'm trying. Really. Working out there. Okay. As you can hear, I am clicking. Uh, well, sure, I will select an artifact then. You can't submit zero, it seems like. Interesting. There's a button there, but you can't press it. <laughs> now I know. I should have known. Should have known better. And yeah, that's a knight. That's very much a knight. Yeah. Yeah, no blocks. No blocks. I don't know how we could How could we get out of this? Well, theoretically, <laughs> if we create enough artifact dudes with Karn. Uh, no, nah, Treasure Map is too late. Way too late. We could get a 3-3 uh, three, three or something from this. That's pretty decent. 
That's pretty decent. Our mm. the course of history. Some solutions must be built. Some solutions must be built. Oh, on top of you. On top of that power stone, please. Wait a 2 2 night. Well, if it doesn't have any removal at all, then we're okay. Then I guess we're in fine shape. Or, and no buff spells, also. <laughs> Which he, of course, had. Uh, okay. Sky Mod Transparent. Uh, typical Mono White. There's <laughs> nothing new here. Not a single card has changed from the original list. I think that uh, M20 did not affect this deck at all. <laughs> Don't think anything changed. Uh, we'll kill one of the knights at least. Uh, and then we'll just jump in front of this guy. I think. Let's see here. Both go for him. It's better to have a 3-3 or is it? Hmm. I think I'll do this. Kills one of them. <laughs> Kills one of them and we can get another. Another dude. Another dude. Yeah, maybe we just have to take this to unranked, honestly. I don't think maybe we can even win with this. Get Ugin kill the Benalish Marshal. That's something. <laughs> yeah, this is just... This is just the worst matchup we queued into. Can you complain anymore? Of course I can. Of course I can. Be gone, interloper. And a 2 2. And now we have the Mystic Forge. Now we have something. Hmm. The bank on the Mystic Forge, I think. Gideon Blackblade. Gideon Blackblade. Gideon, Gideon. At least he hasn't dealt any damage to our face, that's good. I haven't taken any face damage. Gives this guy lifelink. And then goes in, kill all our planeswalkers. Ding, ding. And wow. Wow, wow. Yeah, we can do no blocks, there's no getting around all these. All these attacks. Not happening, not happening. No. A steel overseer. Mm. Sure. Put you down. And let's put you down also. Stick forge. Let's see here. You may look at the top card. You may cast the top card if it's an artifact card or a colorless non-land card. You can also pay one life and exile the top card. Ah, that doesn't feel it too great, I don't think. Mm. It's too bad it's non land. It doesn't feel like this would be broken if it's if you can play one land from your top. You can't play multiple lands anyway, so. I don't know. It needed a nerf on the Mystic Forge there. Uh, sure, Gideon Blackblade on Adantu Vanguard. I think. And then. And then. Then the Vanguard comes in for damage. Ah, I'll, I'll block. For a block. Block this guy. He's pretty decent. And take a lot of damage. Yes. Down to 11. <laughs> so, yeah, we're down to 11. Arch of Or Aska. Ooh, well. I can play Ugin from top. That's pretty nice. Ooh, are we turning this around after all my complaints? <laughs> it's so bitter. And then we're turning this around, it seems like. Yeah, if we kill Gideon, it doesn't have anything, honestly. I mean, he has the Sky Marcher. Sure. Um... A one life extra the top. Nah. Let's stop here. We might consider it. I don't know that we need the detection tower. Yeah, best turn. Yeah, this is decent, honestly. Can block this. Maybe we win this. Probably not, but <laughs> we might. 
<laughs> well, Black, why were you complaining so much? Well, I love complaining. You know how much I love complaining. There's something that I love doing in my spare time. It's complaining. I love it so much. Block here, block here. He might only go in with his flyer. And that's amazing if he does that. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. That's perfect. <laughs> Giving us another turner. Thank you. Man, we're turning this around. Draw. Draw that detection tower. Main face. I think we'll pay one life. Yes. Excellent top card. Don't think we need that. Wimp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Transmog one. Do we want it, though? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's decent. Oh, I didn't put counters on. I should have done that with the steel overs here. Um, let's see. We can do the detection tower. We can do Karn. Great creator. <laughs> we can put counters on the transmog. We can great make this into a... Uh, let's see here. Plus you. Put a counter on... Uh, or maybe the power stone short. Doesn't do much for us, honestly. Put a counter there. <laughs> make it into a 3-3. And then we can uh, use the steel overseer and put counters on. That's amazing. And he killed, can't kill Karn with the Sky March Rasperant. We're gonna win this, I think. And there I was complaining so much. And then we just turn it around. <laughs> Turns out. Colorless. OP. Man, this artifact, by the way. Mystic Forge. I think this is what saved us so much in this game, honestly. Man, Mystic Forge. Mm. Okay, get him Blackblade. But can at least deal with it now. Can go, can go minus two and... Uh, Corn for a uh, golem. Would be quite good. Golem and deal with the black blade. Okay, he gives this something. Give it. I will lend you my strength. I will lend you my strength. Flying ascend, but what did he get? Lifelink, yep. And what? He goes face? Sure. Sure. That's fine. And put a counter on everything. On <laughs> the power stone short also. <laughs> everything gets a counter. And my turn. My turn, I say. Put this down. Let's see here. We definitely want the meter golem to deal with his Gideoner. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> he's done for. He's done for, all right. Oh, my guard. Oh, derp, my guard. Kill the Gideon Blackblade. Yes. I surrender. Yes, kill him. Uh, I think we also use this. We might find something on top here. We want to use. That's another Mystic Forge. We might as well bring this down from the air, honestly. Yeah. And can't attack in. That's pretty good. Mm. Got him! <laughs> oh my god! Through all my complaints. Through my bitterness. And, uh, uh, yeah. Oh my god, now I feel good again. <laughs> Crushing a good deck with a good start. Oh my god. Keep this. <laughs> Keep this, I say. Keep it. Okay. Uh, we start off with the field, because it comes into play tapped. <laughs> it's a long-term strategy. Oh, is this Mono White again? We're gonna crush them again? <laughs> Maybe get this guy down first. And we won't get more activations. Ah, let's put this down. Put down the treasure map. Check the top card. And do something nasty. Ooh, it's another one of those vampire y kind of. Nah, that last guy goes to vampires. But more white, I know. <laughs> but man, I feel good. Uh, Maybe we want that. Another land? I mean, we need a lot of lands to get this going. Mm, how many, though? <laughs> how many? Main phase. Let's see here. Mobilize district. Put down the Voltaic. The Voltaic! Um, let's see. We can untap this. Now I have to think a little bit. Do we want to forge down? 
or do we want to flip the treasure map? I think flipping the treasure map might be more important than the port. We'll have to think about it. Though. Mavern Fane. Oh, that's dangerous. That's very dangerous. Uh, we'll do no blocks. Oh, what do we do here? There's a couple of things. We could also try to go for a corn. The thing is, if we use treasure map, we can't do anything else. And it would be really nice to have the Mystic Forge down. But it's so greedy. Okay, well, draw, draw a card. <laughs> Man! Man, the struggles. The struggles in trying to pilot this deck correctly. It's so dangerous though, with <laughs> Mavra Fane down on the board. We'll try. We'll try. Mm -hmm. Mystic Forge. We don't need another Mystic Forge. I'm gonna pay that one life. Get that out of there. Don't want that on top. Uh, that thing... Mm, put a stop here. We probably don't want that on top either. Untap target artifact. Untap you. Ooh, this is a pretty good thing we got going here. The problem is we're losing life every goddamn turn we do it, but still. Uh, Night of the Abolition. Okay. The reason that my. Uh, you left out. The reason that, that my last uh, deck did so well is that there's so much aggro right now. <laughs> and this deck is not really well suited against aggro, I must say. Uh, yeah. And especially aggro with a good start like this one. Don't know. I mean, we turned it around last time. Or it's a very aggressive good start, but it was... I mean, it was slightly worse than this, though. This is insanely good start. Yeah, we'll take seven <laughs> go down to... Man! Yeah, I think we're dead. Nine. Let's see here. We also should have a stop here. Okay. Gains a counter there. We don't want that... This thing on top, I don't think. Doesn't do much for us. Let's put that away for the time being. My turn, okay. Do we want the Salafirian Void? I th think we don't want it. So I think put it away. It doesn't do anything for us. Draw, okay. So what's on top? A Steel Overseer, which we can play. In our main phase, though. Good. Well, let's see here. If we play the Steel Overseer... Can we survive? I think we can, but we'll put it down and see. And then another Mystic Forge! Okay, we can put that away. <laughs> yep. But all the Mystic Forges have <laughs> two X on it. Ooh. And then we are dead, unfortunately. Yep. You got us. Ooh! Ah, let's keep this. Might be decent. We'll see. Mobilize District. Oh, we go first. <laughs> That's something, huh? Swamp down on the board. Sure. Uh, Yield of the Dead. We start working on that. Maybe we do. And we don't want it next turn, though. Uh, but we kind of want to land. Ah, let's let's keep it there for, for the time being. And let's see here. If we have a Power Stone Shard, do we want a Voltaic Servant? Or a Steel Overseer. A Steel Overseer is probably better. To be fair. But it's so good having it down early. And then you can put counters on Voltaic Servant. Yada yada. And then Voltaic Servant can untap Steel Overseer. Yada yada. Nice stuff. Must say. Borbat though. Not Borat. Borbat. Will you play? Dreadhold Invasion. That's a fine card. That's a fine card for you to have. So maybe here. I know why I have to go for the Power Stone Shard. It's so darn good isn't it? Uh, put a stop here. I mean, we'll take servants. Not bad either. Ah, put down power stone. Put it down. We can get an early Mystic Forger. Uh, we're just gonna stay back with the Steel Overseer. He's a defensive creature. He just wants to put counters on. Do nasty, nasty stuff. It's kind of like the same thing as the Dreadlord Invasion. Just comes bigger and bigger and bigger. Shriek Skydiver. Okay. Interesting. My turn then. My turn. Oh, I didn't put a counter on! 
God damn me! <laughs> God damn me, I say. Um, <laughs> why did I type the God? So bad. Oh well, Mystic Fortune. That thing. Do we want to draw it? I mean, it might come in handy. Man, come on. <laughs> Remember now, Steel Overseer. That's why I have this. Remember, come on. Remember Steel Overseer, please. <laughs> Please don't remember. Yeah, I will try. <laughs> it's not that easy though. Shriek Diver. And gains haste, I presume. A lot of... A lot of aggression coming our way here. Well, we are... We're taking six, or do we sacrifice this guy? If I, <laughs> if I play this correctly, I'm gonna block this. Um... Maybe we sacrifice. Nah, Man, it seems so bad sacrificing him. Could do it. Because then we can play. Let's see. We could play Ugin next turn. And if Ugin survives, we probably. I will see. We might win the game if Ugin survives. So let's do this. <laughs> I know it's horrible because we could have. Um, let's see here. We'll just stop here also. Then we have to think. Do we want the wand? Probably not, to be fair. So let's put that away. And my turn. Sure, draw that. Draw that thing. Main face. All we want now is for this Ugin the Ineffable to survive for one turn. And then we can go ham with our forge. Uh, let's see here. Voltaic Servant. And put down this thing. Put it away. Yeah, we need to plus him. Else he will surely die. Okay, and untap an artifact. That would be the Mystic Forge. Hope it doesn't have the removal for Ugin. <laughs> He's gonna survive with one loyalty. If it's right. The reason that the Ugin is so good is because of Mystic Forge. Because if we have Mystic Forge out... Well, let's do a masses one. Well, that's fine. That doesn't do too much. <laughs> Mono black zombies. Zombie dreadwood invasion. Liking this. Dread Malkin. I'm liking this, but I'm losing to it. Freak it out. It's good if you can't deal with Ugin. That's very, very good. Go for. Does he go for Ugin? Has to go for Ugin. Has to go for Ugin. But he might go for Phaser. here. He is, uh... Well, he can't kill Ugin. Unless he has some kind of buff. Yep. Bringing down to one is good enough. But that's perfect. He soaked the maximum amount of damage. <laughs> and we still have him on our turn. Uh, so let's see. We could draw the blast zone. Nah, we don't need the blast zone at all. So let's remove that. And okay, we draw a detection tower. Other artifact there on top. Not exactly ideal. Let's use you again. Let's find something there on top. Okay, that's good. Arn sign over, so now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking, Mystic Forge. Now we're talking. Okay. Ooh, and then another Ugin. That's amazing. Okay, so create this huge dude, please. That's a 4-4. Four, four. And then we can plus you. And then we can play another Ugin here. Can I play another Ugin? We can plus the Ugin again. No! Secrets. Oh, it puts the Ugin under there. Didn't think about that. Ah! I should have played this first. No, I can't. Oh. How should I have done it? I don't know. How should I have done it? Hmm. Let's see. Salifirum. Oh, Salifirum Void can scry this away. <laughs> That's amazing. Man! There's so much thinking when you play this deck. So much thinking. <laughs> Brain! Brain power is needed. One million. I'm sorry, but I don't... <laughs> I'm not at that level. Um, sure. And then we pass turn. And then we can untap with Voltaic Servant. Untap the Mystic Forge. We'll stop here so we remember to do our stuff. And we also have Mobilized District, which you might not think about here. Which could be quite useful. And it's also the question, does it go for Karn here? Because if he go, goes for... Oh, he's pretty sure it goes one Ugin, one Karn. Yeah. That makes the most sense. <laughs> I guess. Yep. Oh, that 
that's a good card for you to have there, buddy. <laughs> buddy, buddy, buddy. You hit it good there, must say. Ain't even gonna lie about that. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Gets his dude. Let's go in then. That's team amazing. I mean, it's only a death touch. Might go. Okay. Shriek Divers goes in. I can't do much about that. We'll be taking that damage. Ah, man, if this could have flying or something, <laughs> that would be good. Okay, put away that card. Feel the rune. Don't really need that. Ah, and then a Bastion. Mm. Sometimes there's just so many lands on top, isn't there? Um. Yeah, put down the Karn's Bastion then. We don't, still don't have six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, but two Salipirium Voids. Okay. We'll use this again. Put away the Field of the Dead. And a Power Stone Shard. That we can play. That's good. Oh, another land on top. Another land on top. Um, um. Well, at least we can now... Uh, we can. <laughs> we could do that last turn, though. Also, we could block with the Mobilized District. Well, we have the lands. At least. There's that. <laughs> We're getting beaten down in the air and we can't do anything about it. That's a little bit of a weakness has always been for the artifact deck. They don't have any flyers. <laughs> they don't have any ways to deal with flyers. Which is uh, a little bit bad, yes. <laughs> a little bit bad. Okay, Eternal Taskmaster. Yeah, that's dangerous. Are we gonna go down lower? <laughs> gonna go down low. <laughs> we need to deal with these Shriek Divers. Uh, no, we're not gonna use that. Not yet. These guys come in still. Sure. Can't do anything about it. Can't do nothing about it. Mystic Fortune. Remove the top card. Come on. Not a land again. Not one more time. Come on. Ooh, well that's... <laughs> this guy can get live gain at least. That's good. Uh, Carn Great Creator. <laughs> Fetch us some life gain, but we need life gain right now. Oh, do you have a way of dealing with this? No? The Elder Spell? I mean, at instant speed? What do you have? In black. In black, I don't think there's much that can deal with this. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could also deal with a Shriek Diver here. Hmm. But they can only attack in with one. Yeah, that might be the way to go here. Minus two, this guy. And let's see here. We could also go for the transmog wand. Bring them down that way. That's a cheaper way of doing it. But I think the meteor golem. Fine. <laughs> yeah? And let's see here. Bring down the Shriek Diver. <laughs> I hate them! God damn it! Uh, sure. Put you down. And... Yeah, past turn. We don't want to use the Mystic Fort because we might die here. Oh my god, what a tight game! <laughs> Must say. Untap an artifact. Sure. Power Stone short. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Solves it. See what it gets here. That's a lot of creatures. It's dangerous. Bear with it. He might just turn the team here. Might turn the team and go in. Has some nice cards on the board. Cast down. One, two, three, four, five. Is that enough for us to not be able to block? Sacrifice on the creature or planeswalker. Put two plus one plus one counters. And Red Malkin. Yeah, I think we're dead then. Can't deal with everything. The question is if he thinks about it. That's the real question. Mono black against mono brown. <laughs> what an epic matchup. Uh. <laughs> Just queued into. And then. Last Dip Reaver. Just goes in with everything. I think we're dead. 
sure. And if he doesn't pay for this, that's... Or if he pays for this, that's perfect. Yes, that's perfect. Because then he can't use the Dread Malkin. Uh, sure. Resolve. Uh, let's see. Go into blockers. I definitely want this guy down. And uh, let's see here. We need to deal with everyone. Essentially. Kill this guy and kill this guy. Now we're taking three. Going down to one. Yep. <laughs> yep, that's how it has to be. <laughs> he could have killed us with a Dread Morgan, but he didn't think about it. That's lucky. And now we get the Ugin. We can start doing stuff here. Oof. <laughs> okay. My turn. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, we definitely want Ugin down. That's for sure. Gain at one life, yes. <laughs> Crucial one life. Crucial, I say. Uh, that Dread Malkin is pretty dangerous. Uh, let's see. Put down Voltaic Servant. Oh, we have another Ugin there. We have another Ugin. That means we can minus on the Shriek Diver. Because he's gonna get another Shriek Diver. And then we can play another Ugin. We can put down a treasure map. Uh, and then we can play another Ugin. <laughs> yes. And then we can minus this Ugin. To let's see here. Kid of the. Ah, Dread Morkin is not a problem now because we can double block with these guys. Uh, so it's probably this guy who's the, the real trouble. I can create. And then we probably want to assure that he doesn't uh, somehow <laughs> get some more damage in. So this should be good. And then let's see here. Treasure map away the field of ruin. And this guy, sure. Play him for free. And... I don't know. I don't feel confident going down and lower. <laughs> I guess this aggro deck. Uh, untap something. Oh, treasure map. Perfect. Oh, wow. You can go into full control mode then. Let's see here. Submit one. Wow. Submit one. Okay, resolve this. Use this. Resolve. Wink. Oh, I should have targeted these guys. Why didn't I do that? Okay, sure. I could have untapped this also. I didn't. I didn't. Stop here. Resolve this. I think we got him. I think we got him. But man, if he has some way of uh, dealing a little bit of extra damage here. He gets us. <laughs> down low. We're down low, alright. Okay, he gains haste. What's he go for? Corner Ugin. That's perfect. He goes for those guys. Honestly. Honestly, that's perfect. My face is what I'm most... It's what's most precious right now. <laughs> okay. Red Malkin. Might sacrifice another creature, Planeswalker. Go in there. And gets those counters on there. And what does he go for? What does he go for? Face. Ugin. Ah, that I can do nothing about. Interesting. Why didn't he go in with it? Can't do anything about it. Ugin dies. My turn. Draw. Wink. Oh, wait. I should have used this. Oh, but this is not the worst. That on top. Go into main phase. Mm, let's see. We flip you first. Uh, keep the corner. Just to get even more stuffs. Ooh, let's see here. Put down. Oh! <laughs> now start getting these guys also. That's pretty good. <laughs> and we gain life from this. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, 12 and 12. Sure. Put you down. Uh, I think... Yeah, I mean, treasure map is pretty good. Honestly. We need to put the Interplanar Bacon away, unfortunately. So, do that. And let's see here. I think we go for a plus. On what? <laughs> what exactly? 
This thing? Probably. And we can probably sacrifice. We, we can uh, go down one life lower, I think. Sure. Put another one of these down. Ooh. Ooh, in the ineffable. We can't play it, though. Don't have enough manas. Don't have enough manas. Well, let's see. Can we go in with something? We can probably go in with you. Uh, Probably the only one worth going in with, honestly. Next turn, though, we have this 15-15 coming in. <laughs> That's gonna deal a lot of damage. Uh, so let's see here. Check the top card. Ah, we want it there. So, yeah. And the turn. Let's see. Untap you. Wink. Untap you. I don't know exactly which one I targeted, but... <laughs> guess this guy. Impossible to know which one you target. Because <laughs> they move when you do that. Okay, I missed... <laughs> I missed one of them, apparently. <laughs> Man, this game has been 17 minutes! <laughs> That's insane! <laughs> Borval! Will you stand? He has the might of Mono Brown. Mono Brown versus Mono Black. <laughs> gonna appreciate the weird game we're gonna do. Hmm. Ooh, another Shriek Skydiver. Ooh. He can deal a lot of damage to my face now. He so chooses. Yeah, he goes for haste. The Shriek Skydivers. They've been the bane of my existence. <laughs> Killing me off. Slowly. We have, we're at 25 cards in the deck. This guy's 43. Man, we've <laughs> gotten through some cards. Yeah, yeah, he just goes face. He's tired of this. Sure. I'll take four of them. And my turn. Let's see. Check top card. Sure. And check top card with you. Ah. Yeah. yeah, I think we win her. I think we win. We, yeah, we win. Because we can uh, do Ugin and... Ugin kill one of these guys. And then we can do Karn Great Crater, find another Meteor Golem, and kill the last guy. And then we get him! <laughs> With his 50-15, dude. Minus three on the Dread Malkin. He might sacrifice this. No, why wouldn't he do that? That doesn't make any sense. Buff him up before he dies. <laughs> Uh, minus two. Go outside the game. Find our meteor goal and kill the one one and win this game. Finally, it took all my brain powers, everything to win this game. <laughs> but we got it. <laughs> Finally, we got it. Got it. <laughs> yep. Uh, we're going in there. Man, if this 16 16 for some reason cannot attack now. Be so sad. Well, we'll we can go in with everything. We can also untap everything. Another fun side effect of having all this full tag servant. Yep, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. KO! Got him! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, well, at least we have a double power stone short, I guess. We keep this. It's a risky hand. The risky hand against most things. His name is Red, and then he plays Knight of the Ebon Legion. I think we've almost lost. If you're, <laughs> if you're on the play, and someone plays Knight of the Ebon Legion, it's almost like we've lost. Because <laughs> we, we don't have much against an aggressive deck, which has an aggressive start. But, but I've said that before, and we defeated them before, so... <laughs> Maybe. Here we get something done here. Well, steal overs here. Put it down. Yeah. Need to be a little bit luckier. Emperor of Dire Moon. Oh, oh is, he, is he land stalled? Oh, he doesn't even want to attack into it. Uh, no blocks. No blocks, I say. Uh, we are gonna scry. Yes, yes, we need last stone. We need, we need the mana we so need the balance right. Put that down. Let's stop here. And pass. Pass turn. Oh yes, he's land stopped. Yes! Yes! That's amazing. Okay. 
Well, I'll fuck you. And put a counter on. Get him! Yes! Got him! <laughs> Moral victory. Uh, perfect. Let's see. Power stone shard. That's pretty good. Now we get the Karn. Does he untap when he, if I go for power stone shard? Target oh, target becomes an artifact with power... No, no, it does not. Because I kind of want to not have this guy die, if at all possible. Well, if I go for minus two, he doesn't die, really. So maybe that's good. Go for minus two. Oh my god. <laughs> do we just go for the god first? That you. I think we do. And it's past turn. He will be so locked out of the game if we play God first, that you. There's no coming back after that. No coming back. Yeah, we'll go in for Karn. That's fine. Fine. Don't say no blocks. I can do damage. That's fine. Uh, Steel Overseer. I like that I complain about all these aggro decks and I can <laughs> just go on to defeat them every damn time. Let's see. If I play Ugin. If I play Ugin. Nah, if I play Ugin, I can't play God First Statue. God First Statue is more important. Put that down. And let's see here. Plus, nothing. Got him! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Good old God First Statue! <laughs> let's see this hand then. Heal of that, Interplanet Beacon, Interplanet Beacon, Steel Overseer, Power Stone Shard, and Mystic Forge. Sure, keep it. Keep it. It's so good when you get two Power Stone Shards in the opener. <laughs> it's such a nice boost. Or if you get three. That's insane. It's an insanely strong card when you get multiples. Multiples. Is this another black deck? What is going on? <laughs> black white. Everything. Yeah. Everything is vampires right now. Everyone. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, let's see here. We put a stop here. We pass down. Mark of Dusk. Yeah. At least we were on the play. That helped us out quite a lot, I think. Ooh, this could be dangerous. This could be so dangerous. So dangerous. Okay, what do will he put into play? That's a question. Maverick. Okay, that's not the worst. Could have been worse. Could have been way worse. Was all that? Sure. Uh, yeah, I will not do anything. I mean, I could kill it, but... Doesn't seem awfully great. Put a counter on here instead. My turn. My turn. Okay. So here then. We put down a power stone shard. We need to be a little bit luckier. <laughs> for this to work. Um, A little bit lucky. We gotta do the mystic forge. And I don't think there's anything for one we have in our deck that we could play anyway, so... We probably want another land, so yeah, let's just pass. <laughs> it's always so sweaty versus all these aggro decks. Man! Lenda, Dusk Rose, that's fine. It probably goes for a kill there uh, with the Soren. The sacrifice a token kills the seed overs here. It's like such an easy thing. Go for. Does he just plus? Nah, he can't plus here. Oh, well, he pluses, but he pluses with the sacrifice deal 3 damage. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was afraid he would do. Yeah, yep. And then it dies. Cool. I could have used the ability, but it wouldn't do anything. That's why I didn't do it. If you you wonder why didn't you use the ability? Well, wouldn't have done anything. A create a one-one life link. Let's see here. Do we want to keep the mobilized district there? I think we want another lands. I think we keep it there. Okay, Steel Overseer, that's pretty perfect with Ugin. So, we play Ugin, and then we'll see what we do here. We can get some nice stuffs done with, done with this boy. Put down you, for free. Okay, so we... Treasure map, we can also put down, for free. Mystic Forge, yes, we don't want the Blast on top there, that's not doing anything. Yield of the Dead, okay. Uh, we can use the top card, probably want to use it like this though. Use the top card. Uh, to put that away. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one to have there. Ooh, hoo, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so now we have a couple of nice dudes uh, that we can use here. Do we go for the Ugin 
plus here. Let's see, if we go for the Ugin plus. I can attack in with everything, but he probably can't kill Ugin then. Probably. I only might. Oh, and also this. <laughs> also this, didn't even think about that. Get rid of one card with this. That's amazing. Uh, and, then we <laughs> and then we get this guy. It's an 8-8! Eight, eight. Okay, and then we can untap. Let's see here. What do we want to untap? Doesn't matter too much. Uh, treasure map, I guess. Oh, well, it does matter. <laughs> it actually does matter. Now we can use the... Now we can use the treasure map. That's amazing. Now we can flip it next turn. Does Lydian sell it? Yep. And that comes down. It's dangerous. And he surely goes for a kill on the Steel Overseer. Yep, that's another Martyr of Dusk. <laughs> Kills the Steel Overseer. We have a lot of blockers, though. We can probably get even more. We can just keep our team alive. Oof. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. We got ourselves a battle. Honestly. Digital Mirror. What a <laughs> There's so much thinking. Always when you do an artifact deck, there's like... The, the thinking in a normal deck is just mostly like derp, play out creatures, derp, derp. Then you play this, it's like all the lands of abilities, it's like a million things you need and you're always on the back foot because your deck is a little bit weaker than most other decks. <laughs> but it makes you maybe play better. You think a lot, I don't know. I don't know if, what the, uh, the correlation factor is between playing better and... <laughs> and uh, yeah, <laughs> and having a brain. Thinking and playing better. Is there a correlation? Uh, what does he do here? Probably goes for the Sorin. Yeah, Sorin plus Steel Overs here. Man, we can do some poetry though. We can, can do some savage poetry. Oh, where's my poetry tab? Oh my god. Do I not have poetry up? Why? Why? Poetry is life. God. I cannot live without poetry. <sighs> Did he play something? No, he just passed. Okay. Did he not attack in? Okay. Of course he attacked. Yep, Mavern. Mavern the Maverick. So let's see here. Elenda Dusk Rose. I don't want to kill her, honestly. Because she will spawn a million dudes. Uh, but I definitely want to kill this guy. And this guy. And... I mean, this guy we get a land from. But we want to have a lot of blockers, though. Put you there. And then I guess we do. Voltaic Servant there. Now everyone's blocked. We're decent. A good trade, I think. In our favor. Whing! Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's a dangerous part. We'll need to block Elenda forever. Hopefully it doesn't have a way of giving this some kind of evasion. Because then we're so screwed. Then we're so screwed. We can't ever kill this. It's too dangerous to have all the one ones pop out of this. Okay, sacrifice that guy. And surely kills our steel overs here. Oh, yeah. No, it, of course he doesn't. Oh, I should have thought about that. Oh, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Oh, he kills that guy. Didn't, didn't think he would do that. Okay, my turn. Oh. Got to use steel overs here. There. <laughs> didn't I? Um, and also, I forgot to use the treasure map. That was crucial. That was crucial. Damn it. Now we have nine one ones to worry about. Nine one ones. Okay, well, we better start doing this, I guess. Well, we can deal with them, actually. If we find a corn. If we find a corn, let's see here. Let's remove that top card. That's, that's good. <laughs> that's good, though. Perfect. Uh, we use this guy. Uh, put you away, yes. If we find a car in the Great Crater, we can actually deal with it. Double Mystic Forge. We could play it. This doesn't matter too much. I mean, it only costs two, so... Oh, yes, there he is. Yes! Hopefully I have it in my sideboard. <laughs> Hopefully! I don't always put it in the anti-totem deck or the anti-totem card, but if I have it, sometimes this card is just so good. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. 
<laughs> and there's the power stone shard. There's the power stone shard for one mana. <laughs> Coming down here. Making him cry a million tears. Oh, he's... Oh, did he concede? He might have conceded there. I think we got him. Oh my god, yes! We got him! This is what happens, by the way, if he concedes. <laughs> yes! 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 Hopefully. We'll see if our rank went up. Let's check that out. Profile. Yes, we're diamond tier one. We won! Got him! <laughs> Member shout out. Member shout out. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. And a special thank you, of course, to our dear members. Master Bagging Gaming, Magic Pistol Man, Alan, Clark, Steiner, Bucken, Ramen Noodles for Me, Adam Alexis, Owen77, Blue Dragon, Rodney Cox, MTG Noob, Herman M, Agony Reborn, The Soft Pillow, <laughs> Sneak, Luria, Stars, Michael Aglor, Shamanix, Spencer Hofsty, Carlos Martinez, Alex Michael, Nathaniel Nissan, Lasers at the Done! Jeff Henry, Eric0234, Diesel Fizzlepuff, Ellie Curtis, Strange Brontides, leaning <laughs> into it, Cyberjunk Punk, Santa John, Bradley Williams, Michael W, Pocky U, Matthias Porley, Toplets Investments, Kronos1107. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for supporting me and supporting Blood Sacrifice on a daily basis. By the way, if you want to become a Dark Disciple, rule the underworld and all that jazz, then check out the join button next to the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.